So this next mnemonic is to help you remember how the diagnosis of Alzheimer's is achieved. It's not necessarily this one hallmark symptom. It's um, kind of putting this clinical picture together. So it's the five A's of Alzheimer. Amnesia, anomia, apraxia, agnosia, and aphasia. So I'll go ahead and explain what all those are. So amnesia, um, a loss of memory. Anomia, unable to recall names of everyday objects. Apraxia, unable to form tasks of movement. Um, agnosia, inability to process sensory information. And aphasia, disruption with the ability to communicate. So putting those pieces together really helps um, clinicians come to the diagnosis of Alzheimer's. Um, and I, in our mnemonic book, it's on page 56, and I really want to encourage you to take a peek at that if you've um, purchased the book. Um, it shows a slice of a normal brain, and then it shows the slice of a brain with Alzheimer's. kind of points out some differences, but the difference is pretty astounding in the slice of a healthy brain versus the Alzheimer's brain, and it really kind of helps you put that picture together. There's significant deficits noted. So, again, the Alzheimer's diagnosis, the five A's of the Alzheimer's diagnosis, amnesia, anomia, apraxia, agnosia, and aphasia. This has been another episode of the Nursing Mnemonics Podcast by NRSNG.com with your host, Katie Kleber, RN, CCRN. To grab all of our nursing cheat sheets, head over to nrsng.com slash freebies. That's nrsng.com slash freebies. Thank you so much for being here today. We love you guys. We thank you so much. We want to see you guys succeed. Listen, we're all in this together. Now go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.